Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Olympus Sky. Thank you for visiting uh, this channel again for checking out this new video. Thank you so much for all the support. Just uh, just 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 uh, just a quick thank you here. And thank you so much for the support in this video. If you have not seen this video, please check it out, but do not forget to share this video. Uh, this is quite a rare opportunity. I've never used the word proof on my channel or evidence, and I promise you I will not abuse that word. So when I will use the word proof or evidence, you know that there's something crazy going on there. So go check that video out if you've not seen it. If you have seen it, thank you so much for the support and, and all the support given in that video. It is really necessary. That video has to get out. I've done my best to, uh, to try and get it out. But, um, you know, even humiliating myself, got on Facebook, found some groups here and there. But I can't call that a community if you can't post your own video. I mean, uh, your own image inside a group which is quite preposterous for me um that is not a community for me at least not in my word uh, world anyway so let's check this out uh the classic one you've probably seen uh, my thumbnail uh, you might be thinking okay yeah i've seen it and um yeah i just want to have a quick word about it but this whole entire video i'm trying to make it like a huge huge point here I hope that you will open your own eyes and sometimes you really need a slap in the face just to look at this again properly. Uh, so this video is not about this entire anomaly, we'll check out the, actually the Tiger Crater, which is for too many people interesting as well. As you can see, it's the same crater, but you can see that there's like this base thing, it's quite a popular anomaly, it's pretty old, it's... You, you, you're probably familiar with it. If you're not familiar with it, well, welcome, join the club. Now you know. Um, so, okay, and, and people, please don't say that that is a spacecraft. It's, if we just grab a quick look at this. Um, it's, it's just one of these crosses here. It's, uh, it's, it's not a big thing, but I've, I've seen like videos, checked it out on YouTube just before making this video. A huge shout out to Scott War Warren, warning. Uh, awesome channel I actually discovered I haven't uh, seen it before I, I noticed that a lot of people already were familiar with him a lot of respect for that guy checked out some videos um, you know till this point I'm not disappointed definitely not again like you see I uh, just click here and you can see definitely here some tampering some stuff going on here jeez all right why why it's, it's it's perfectly fine when you look at a shadow. Why do you have to like do this? Um, anyways, as you can see, it disappears. But you know, the interesting thing is that this image is like 50 years old. Um, you can indeed see more in an, in an older image. Now you could say, uh, look, it's an artifact. You can see pixelation around it, which is so weird. It is so weird. And you know, usually you see more of these crosses, but you can only see one in this entire strip. So that is quite suspicious and quite quite an indication that they have been messing around with this. Um, the way this disappears, when you look at the outer rim here, you can see that this rim actually goes around this anomaly. Um, that you can see, it's, it looks very, very natural. It looks like a natural ridge around that artificial looking base, whatever you people like to call it. So that ridge is definitely legit to me. Else you could say, okay, maybe there's like okay look at the pixelation something went wrong here so you know never mind um let's remove this even that entire whole natural ridge around that anomaly is gone and that natural ridge sh you should be able to see in this whole area anyways uh that's all about this anomaly nothing really much here to say i mean uh, enough said about this you've probably seen it a million times let's go to the tygo crater and we will check out some lunar orbit, uh, mosaic image or whatever. We we'll checked it out in a moment. Um, wanted to do a video about this like a year ago. There's a lot of people like saying, claiming, uh, look, cities, and you name it, I place my marks here. I have just called them cities. I'm not saying these are cities, but um, you can see that it looks like a city at the moment because everything is super square. Now, there's something going on here with compression and you name it, and, there's, and it makes things look a bit more square than they are and it is quite a complex thing um, so you know i postponed it like how many we're here later still need to get back to this actually pretty interesting you can see there's like absolutely no data in this area so um there's definitely some stuff going on there um so a round rock can look square if you do it uh, the wrong way um we'll talk about that soon in a dreadful dreadful video i don't want to really make but uh, yeah, okay, let's let's jump in this. Let's go back in time. Let's, this is what it is about. Um, look at this, by the way. Beautiful image. Absolutely gorgeous. 50 years ago. 
we're looking this is our own moon and it looks so much like if people call IOP this a death star but I mean why do we have to go that far all the way to Saturn while well, we have apparently a death star orbiting our own planet so uh, yeah pretty cool I mean all the all this detail we've got all the links down below uh, the enhanced versions will be uh, on my Google Plus you get you can check out the description everything out there love to share it with you guys always leave a comment thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe so anyways without hesitation let's jump into the main thing here and let me see um, we got the Tiger creator here uh, when you click it I'll show you it says Tiger right here in the link as well I'm not making a mistake here that's that's a really important thing to point out and so okay this it's, it's pretty interesting to look back at the older technologies uh, you like made an image on a 17 millimeter film scanned it in on that you know satellite and then send it over back to earth it's it's like a floating factory it's, it's quite amazing it's quite a quite a thing to achieve here um, it's pretty cool as you can see when you look at this image this is an image taken inside of Tycho crater so it's just a piece of the tiger crater look how much detail you see it is absolutely amazing let's go back to the new ones you can't see that much it's it's like all smoothed out it's it's kind of flat you know um there's a thing here there's a there's a real big thing going on there for everyone that is interested in anomalies or space images there's something that i cannot wrap my mind around it as you can see i've been a bit busy already here uh let me just uh, duplicate this again let's do this all over again uh, with you guys so here we got the center this is the 50 year old image of the tiger crater uh, we will check out some an interesting feature it's, it's it's not a lot it's just a couple of pixels but it does show us something interesting here that you cannot see in the new ones which is so weird there's a small little crater here let me zoom in just a bit more i know i just noticed there's 22 percent mobile viewers so hello there <laughs> i still recommend the computer but okay so we got a small circle here and you got a beam line over going over that circle over the crater so let's zoom a bit out let's start drawing this out this looks a bit to me like uh, like some kind of frame you know look at this triangular pattern right here it it really looks artificial if you don't want to call it artificial that's fine by me trying to make a point there so we got this weird like overhang type structure going over this crater i will grab this anomaly right now for you and we will compare it in size to the center all right we got that let's grab the whole thing and we'll place it on top of it now you can see that it's more or less 50 percent 70 percent just as big as the whole center mountain ridge that we've checked out on google earth so it's 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 almost as big as this if this if it is as big as this we should be able to see it without even zooming in that it should be right here or somewhere it's it's quite the thing here. there's something going on with sizes definitely i do think that you know at this point i almost feel like nas is playing a game in with sizes uh, to confuse us i don't know but that the, the, this is the whole point of this video let's do this again let's do this again let's grab another area i found something interesting here like um not saying in this square i mean it's obviously you need to to me this does look naturally shaped you can see this uh, wall here so okay we got that little thing here i will copy it over and then move it around and compare it again to the whole centerpiece so this is a bit of a different video i hope you like this video do not forget to uh, leave a comment i really enjoy the comment section here <coughs> So as you can see, again, in, in comparison to the whole center, not only that it looks a lot different than what we're seeing here, you could say, okay, resolution, this, that, um, it's actually like, like just a mountain ridge. Just looking at this thing, you know, honestly, when you go over it, you, it's, can you see this? It's like, and then you got kind of style of slopes here. And even by looking at the shadow here, I mean, look at just the shadows alone it's a pretty interesting thing actually won't you say so there are a lot of changes here but you know i'm not even talking about changes whatever like i said you know it could be uh, due to changing technologies resolutions you name it but that thing that that little square like natural formation around here 
we should be able to see it in this image but it is not in this image the it, it's it's like a completely different creator now there's so much going on and as you can see there's so much detail in here um like i said like look at this it's it's extraordinary to look at this it is really really extraordinary um, I will share this image as well on my Google Plus. Check out the description. Uh, do follow me on Google Plus. I am uh, definitely active on Google Plus. So I think that's that. That's it. This little small anomaly thing I want to show you here. Um, I noticed this. is is almost like a Jesus cross type shape. Didn't I say that before? Yeah. But okay. Look at it. At first I thought, you know what, uh, pareidolia is, is a real thing, guys, honestly. First, you know, I saw a face and then I was like, um, all right, let's start drawing it out. And then, you know, okay, it's something different. Um, that's why it's so important to start drawing out the lines and everything, try, try to grasp what is going on. I uh, can definitely see a shadow here. Um, it's like a, a cross-type rock is sitting on top of another rock. And it's possible that this is a very like, rectangular-like shape as well. Uh, we're just missing a couple of pixels here. I will definitely look into a high resolution if there's one available. Um, as you can see, um, just, by, just by looking at the ridge alone, you see so much more than actually in this Google Earth image. And I hope I made my point here. Because um, I can't grasp my mind around it. There's something going on there. It's, it's, it's just not right. I mean, 2015. Let's go, let's go to 2012 for those people that like it or still don't get it. This is an image from 2012. You can see the date right there. Uh, useless image. Absolutely useless. Image size, 30 kilobytes. Come on, guys. It's 2015. People are, I heard that people are playing games over the cloud like they just, just click on a game and like it streams directly to their computer. We can... Do all that. I heard about entire enormous games and projects in IT that, that it's and they, they only cost for their services like thousand dollars per year. There's 17,000 images. Let's say that at least make them one megabyte per image. It's not like there's, there's like 50 million people at the same time opening up these images, but it is disappointing. I mean, you gotta say when you look at this. It is disappointing. 50 kilobytes. Let's check it out. Let's zoom in again. Like I said, like you can see, like there's areas in here that have no data in them. So what the hell is going on there? We haven't we mapped the moon like so many times? I mean, well, what 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 happened to the Clementine images? Uh, I don't I don't think that they're still released. Uh, all the 90,000 images that are that just disappeared, classified. It's actually a real thing. That whole Clementine thing. You can Google it up. Um, so that's it. I will share this announced image here. I hope I made my point clear. That's the that's the whole point of this video. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit different, a bit slower, and uh, you know sometimes you have to do this. I mean, I do. You know, if I feel like doing this, I will. If I think it's necessary. So here you are. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't expect a lot of views, or whatever. But do leave that comment. It's not about views, but uh, you know, I I do enjoy you know. Um, just, just, just having that conversation down below if you are uh, just reading those comments. See what you guys think about this. Um, thank you again so much for your support. Do uh, subscribe, leave a like, and you name it. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Uh, don't know if that will be the Dreadwolf video I talked about, but probably yes. Uh, it will be a pretty important video. So, uh, okay. See you in that video or in the next video. Thank you so much and enjoy your weekend.